We know that it's hard to stay up to date on USIP's latest publications, so we've challenged our teams to summarize their latest research in less than a minute. This is Briefly. One in five elections in the world turns violent. Burn ballot boxes, intimidation of candidates or opposition supporters, crackdowns on peaceful demonstrations, assassinations of candidates, even mass killings. But while election violence is common, it is not inevitable. What we wanted to figure out was which approach works best to prevent conflict, which don't, and whether some are more effective in different parts of the world. Over the past decade, we've learned to recognize which elections are at risk of violence. And the international community has developed several approaches to prevent election violence. But what we learned from our research is that the impact of peace messaging, voter consultation, and youth programming on keeping elections peaceful is small or inconsistent at best. Instead, donor resources should focus on high-quality election administration and responsible, well-equipped policing to protect candidates, voters, and election materials. These approaches strengthen state institutions and allow more voters to have safer access to polls. Did I get it? This is an important piece of research, as it helps practitioners better prioritize their efforts. Tensions that lead to election violence often rise long before voters head to the polls, during party nominations, the process of voter registration, and throughout the campaign period. So efforts to prevent election violence need to be well-targeted, and they need to start early. If you would like to learn more about what USIP is doing to support programs to prevent election violence, visit usip.org electoral violence.